Here is a really quick cooking tip. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and today I just wanted to share a quick cooking tip with you guys. Here it's breakfast time and I'm going to be making some fried eggs. So somebody who is blind or visually impaired, sometimes it's hard to get ingredients into the pot or pan neatly. Whether it's making eggs or adding potatoes or onions or tomatoes into a pot or a pan, you know, what I like to do and what's useful for me is putting it in a bowl first. And that way it's easier to aim properly. A lot of the time people just crack an egg right over the pan and I mean you could do that but sometimes I make a mess because I didn't hit right in the middle or if I just chop something I might just try to move it straight from the cutting board into the pot or whatever it is. But a lot of the time if you just put it in a bowl it's a lot easier and a lot less messy when you put it in the pan or pot. Good pot. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and open up these eggs and take one out. And so I'm going to crack it right here. And go open. And there's the egg. I did want to mention that I don't add salt to my eggs because according to my kitchen handbook, apparently that changes the texture of the eggs, so I always put it after. But it, I, don't, I don't know if it really matters, but that's just what I read. And talking about salt, what I do is instead of a salt shaker, I have a little jar of salt that I have a large print label on here, and uh, somebody dropped it. so. There's a crack in the lid, but instead of using a salt shaker, I have an open jar where I can just pinch out some salt and that way I know how much salt is coming out or how much salt I'm putting because using a salt shaker, I can't see how much salt is coming out. So right here I have the oil heating up and far away <laughs> enough from the baby. So once the oil starts making some popping sounds, you know that it's pretty hot, so it's ready for the eggs. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got the egg in the bowl, and I'm just going to pour it in there. And I like to have a little pink yolk, so I cover mine. And really fried eggs take a lot of a shorter time than people think. It depends on if you want a runny yolk or a completely cooked yolk. I like a runny yolk with a crispy edge. Let me know in the comments what kind of fried eggs do you guys prefer? This should be done. I'm just gonna open it up. Cover there. And we're gonna get this little egg and put it on a plate and I'm just gonna take a little pinch of salt and spread it all over the egg and it's ready all right guys that's it for this one if you like this video give it a thumbs up below and hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to stay up to date with all our videos on tips and tricks and how to's all right guys you have a great one thanks for watching just to say bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.